All right, in this video, I want to talk about different focal lengths when you're doing your portrait shots. Not, we'll, we'll talk about some close-up headshots, and then we'll look at some of the other portraits, because not every single shot you're going to take is going to be a close-up like this. Uh, you could take a shot from, uh, you, could, you could take two steps back and take a shot like this, um, or you could take a shot like this, which is not too close-up. Or you could take a really close-up shot like this and still not have distortion. This was this was taken with a 50 millimeter lens with D3100. Um, all right, so let's take a look at some of the close-up shots that I took. Sh uh, picture on the left, right here, was taken with 35 millimeter. Picture in the middle was taken with 50 millimeter. Picture on the right was taken at 85 millimeter focal length. All right, clearly you can see that there's distortion in this picture. Okay. Um, the closer you're going to get to your subject at a wider angle, the more distortion you're going to get. 50 millimeter is acceptable if you go like this, you know, but there is distortion in this. There is no doubt about it. Um, acceptable, eh, kind of. I would not recommend this for close up headshots, okay? Um, 85 millimeter, you can see clearly there's no distortion. Um, so, some photographers say, don't buy 50 millimeter. It's not good for your portrait shots, and uh, you're gonna get distortion. You know, I I disagree with that statement, and I'll uh, and I'll explain why. And you guys can share your opinion as well. Um, you know, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, um, leave in the comments. Here's the thing: not every single shot you're going to take is gonna be a close up like this. Matter of fact, people don't even feel comfortable doing portrait shots in the beginning when they're starting. It took me almost a year to feel comfortable taking shots in a portrait position. I was so scared because of the camera shape. I had that issue. I worked on it and I got rid of it. Now most of my shots are actually in portrait position. So in the beginning, people, a lot of times, they're, they're taking shots in, in, in landscape position. If you take a look at this shot, that's that's a very, that's really close up. This was taken with a 50 millimeter uh, 50 millimeter lens on D3100. There's no distortion in this. So a lot a lot of this depends on how you're photographing. If you photograph, um, if all of your shots are like this, yeah, you're gonna have a problem. Then go with 85 millimeter. But if you if you mix up your your shots then you can easily get away with it. Here's here's a shot with 50 millimeter lens on D7000, I believe. I, I can't remember exactly, but I used 50 millimeter lens and I took this shot from, I, I, I had to take a couple of steps back. Um, there's no distortion in this. Um, here's a shot with D3100, uh, 50 millimeter lens. Again, there's no distortion in this. So. If you're going to photograph uh, uh, of your uh, photograph, you know, kids or your family not from a really close distance, 50 millimeter is perfectly fine. Now, if you have the funds to purchase, you know, uh, 85 millimeter and you do you do headshots, this is this is probably ideal. If you do headshots, go with 85 millimeter, but if you do a little bit of everything, I would say 50 millimeter is more versatile because you can take you know a few steps back and still get a portrait, um, and you could you could do close close up shots as well. Um, let me see if I have actually no, I, I did not save that picture. I'll show you guys in another video. 50 millimeter, I believe, is a great lens um, if you're gonna do super close ups. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have some distortion. Um, those of you who do a lot of headshots, obviously the clear choice is 85 millimeter is going to be your ideal um, focal length. All right, guys. Hope all is well, and I'll talk to you guys later.